Welcome to Live from the Gardens, a Phanomorphs podcast about animals and how to be a convincing Animorph. Uh, this week we'll be talking about the American Lobster. It's got a lot of names, but we're going to go with American Lobster. And the Garden Ant, the Black Ant. Uh, two of the animals that we saw in Animorphs number 5, the Predator, which we talked about last week on the Dork Bajir Chronicles. My name is Mikhail. I'm going to be the host. My name is Tessa. I'm the Animorphs expert. And I am Brayden. I'm I'm the the new kid. I don't I don't have anything creative this time. No goose. Uh, no, that's God. even funnier. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to start off with the quiz again. Which ants? And I'm specifically talking about the uh, common black ant, I guess, mm-hmm. or like some people call it the black garden ant. Uh, which ants can fly? Like um, which, uh, not what species, but like what role? Oh, um, oh, that's easy. Males. Um, my like my mom's sister is always jet setting to Europe, so yeah, I'm gonna have to say the drones is what they're called. The male <laughs> ants. Okay, the very male good. Ant is the one that flies. So the ones that can actually fly are the virgin females. So the ones who, oh. they're basically waiting to be queens. Oh. As well as the males. Oh right, they can. This I remember. Oh, I used to play sim ants. It was the. It was one of the sim games. And yeah, the queens can fly. That's how they go from their home to a new to start a new colony. Right. Um. Well, they're not queens yet. No, but, they but they're fly. like they're gonna. They're like baby queens. You know, like they they've started. They, queens, they're yeah. listening to Barbara Streisand, but they haven't played with makeup yet. Um, okay. My older brother used to try tried to convince me that it, the same was true with male slugs that they had invisible wings <laughs> and could fly and could also suck your blood um, okay yeah he i didn't believe him i just <laughs> was very disgusted okay question number two what percent of lobsters american lobsters actually get caught 100 percent. the lobster's extinct no nah, i'm gonna Nailed go it. <laughs> with 69 <laughs> wait a minute that's the sex number wait what it's closest without going over is mine no no i'm that's the rule yeah that's so. the rule yeah 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 so who's closest without going over what did brayden guess 50 50 yeah so brayden you win it's actually six percent oh it's yeah there's so a no, lot of lobsters we both lose because brayden went over and i went over brayden is closer but I guess I won't count that because you're right. It's the closest without going over. Okay, okay last we question. Both lose. Yeah. Wow, dang. Out of the American lobster, ironically also known as the Canadian lobster, uh, <laughs> and the common black ant, which one of their sperm lasts longer? I'm going to say with lobster just because everything about a lobster lasts a long time. I'm guessing <laughs> they also have sex. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the ant because um, they got farther to go. Because, like, they, they need to make it last because they only shoot a dupe on a queen. Uh, that's true. So, Brayden is actually 100% right. A, 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 a queen will be inseminated once and will produce potentially millions of eggs. But she gets hella bukkake'd. <laughs> no, no, it's still just one ant that impregnates her. Oh. It's just all... Is it just, semen. like, the first one to get there? Or is there a competition of some there sort? Is a, it, a it's more ritual? like it's a swarm. Like, there's so many of them. We can get into that when we talk about the ant, mm-hmm. but it's like, it doesn't really seem like there's that much competition for individuals because it's really just like, oh, that one's taken. Oh, that one's taken. Oh, that Okay, here's this one's not taken. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, so it's still individual, but it's in... There's not just one queen? No, so all the virgin females... Again, this is... We'll talk about this in a bit, but all the virgin... I hate how you're saying virgin females, Mikhail. <laughs> Sorry. Can I just say that makes me really uncomfortable for we're talking about Mikhail insects. to just be like, all of the virgin females <laughs> have wings so they can fly away before they get bukkake'd. All the potential queens go out at once, as well as the male drones, or, like, just mating partners. Basically, that's the only reason they exist. They all kind of, like, fly out at the same time of year, which I think is spring, but I might be wrong about that. Um, So you'll see, like, swarms of flying ants, and they're basically just... It's like an orgy. With a purpose. Good. Hey more now. more reasons to be terrified of hey the now, natural don't world. You, don't you disparage my lifestyle? <laughs> <laughs> Mile High Club! 
But first, let's talk about lobsters, because that was the first morph, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> lobsters are pretty gross. They're they're like Pokemon, but if Pokemon were real, because Pokemon are terrifying if you think about it. The lobster has two... Well, it actually has, like, um, three... Like, each... It, you know what? It has, like, eight legs. Is it eight legs? Or, I think it's eight legs. Yeah, it's on eight the, legs. On, it's technically an arachnid. Yeah. Um, but did you know that the first three rows of arms... And legs, or legs, I guess, have claws. So obviously, you see the big ones. Yeah, yeah. But no, they the got next like little two tiny. have little tiny ones. And then the other ones are walky. No, yeah, I've noticed. I've noticed. I, I, <laughs> I, I spent a lot of time on the on the coast as a kid. And uh, okay, fair. Got my, He's flashing back, y'all. Got my. Got He's got that far away look in his eye. One cool thing I noticed, or like I just didn't realize before, was that uh, the American lobster, at least, has two different types of claws. Mm-hmm. So one claw, it's kind of like, it's rough and bumpy and stuff. Oh, and the yeah. other claw, it's like, it's very Skinny, much... and it's got a uh, needle. Yeah. So the the bumpy one is meant to crush things yeah. and, and expose, other... like, muscle inside. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is meant to, like, slice through that muscle. Smear bit. It's pretty wild. Cra- There's a lot of crab species who are similar. They got like the, almost like a dominant claw and like the skinnier. Yeah, yeah. Tip, 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 one evolution isn't real. God just did that. <laughs> Do you see how well designed a pop can is to be opened? No, look at how well designed a banana is to be opened. Anyway, that's why God hates fags. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. Oh, what? Don Cherry. What's the name of that guy who does those stupid comics? Oh, um, Jesus? Jack Chick. Jack Chick. Oh. Oh, Jack Chick. God invented bananas. Uh, <laughs> Don't so anyways, follow Muhammad. He's a Satanist. D- wow, we are we are treading. It was in the comics. Jack it was Chick in, is it was the character, and it Jack Chick character. doesn't believe Muhammad is the devil. He believes Mohammed worships a pagan moon deity. He's going Come to on, the man. devil. He's going to the devil. Follow the continuity. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. You have to read all the comics. <laughs> Mikhail is so exasperated. Including the ones where he condescendingly changes all the characters' races. What about the cinematic universe? Anyway, oh, Mikhail. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Despite having like very specialized tools for opening up, like mollusks and, and and like ripping apart sand dollars and stuff, which is what they usually eat. Uh, apparently, they it's something like forty to fifty percent of their diet is basically just eating the bait from inside lobster traps and then ah. fucking right off. Nah. Because only six percent of lobsters that, like I said, that enter a lobster trap Get are caught. actually caught in the lobster trap. Wow, lobsters yeah, they're are pretty baller. ineffective lobster traps, honestly. That's Maybe there's that, only no, one good way to do they're it. They're pretty effective because, like, Newfoundland is crawling in lo- with lobster. Obviously, there's just a billion lobster in the ocean. Which is a terrifying thought because if you think about it, they're kind of like water spiders. Like, they're, they're really Yeah, no, scary. they're exactly water spiders. They're terrifying. They eat dead flesh. They're like water spiders mixed with flies. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gross. They just look like bugs. Anyways, one thing that you wouldn't guess from looking at them, because they seem like they're just kind of like feeling around with their little antennae like cut and stuff but apparently despite the fact that they actually can't see very well in general Mm -hmm. um their eyes are made instead of rods and cones like we have which are like very much based on a sphere or a cylinder shape their eyes have like perfect square grids if you look close enough Yeah, and so I don't totally understand the science because it is a bit beyond me, but it gives them a 180 degree field of vision, which like we have, I think it was like 110 or 120. They can see basically in opposite directions at once. That's so fucked. Yeah. Spiders. Even crazier than that, it's like the technology that we use to develop x-ray scanners is based, well, we are basing it off of lobster eyes what yeah and i honestly that was like way beyond anything i could understand i just saw in a lot of stuff i looked up it was like they're using lobsters eyes as a template for how to better understand and use x-ray scanners that is That's pretty cool kind it is of pretty cool fucked speaking of fucked um yeah the- how do they procreate <laughs> in case i ever get yerked into a lobster 
How can I, you know, protect myself? Yerked into a law? I know. That doesn't make I any said sense. It wrong. That's not how this works. I said it wrong. You're going to need to know how to do the courtship dance if you want to convince Yerks that you're Oh, uh, you know, is not this an like animorph. friends where they mate for life and hold claw to claw? I don't actually think they may they mate life or uh, for life. I think it's more I'm like sure a yearly don't. basis thing. Was yeah. K.A. Applegate a fan of friends? No, I think she just wanted to reference shit. Yeah, and she's I think like, so. this is popular. Kids watch Friends, right? Tessa, h- how how much do you relate to? This is off topic, but uh, the fact that the lobster is actually like the female lobster will release a pheromone that purposefully makes the male lobster less aggressive, so that they can have sex. How how much do I relate to that? Yeah, because don't you usually like drug the men that you sleep with? No, I like to have them randy. <laughs> Like, I, didn't I actually like know them if, if they've got fight some fighting spirit, you know. <laughs> like, that's like the opposite of what I do. I just want to, I, just, I inject testosterone yeah. right into their balls. Give them a knife. We're basically, like, <laughs> fighting for dominance. Have you ever read a romance novel, Mikhail? Every kiss, their tongues battle for dominance. That's what love is. This is true, actually. I, I have heard this. Um, okay, so fairly unrelatable, then. That That's fine. <laughs> What, do you normally get drugged before? You I don't usually remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I don't no. think I've ever been drugged, but I, I do uh, I do white out before sex. Like you sniff white out? No. It just, it, <laughs> it, it, you know, like in a her where it fades to black while you hear Joaquin Phoenix orgasm to Scarlett yeah. Johansson's voice? Brain, it fades to white. S- before I even start, th- I'm actually constantly coming during sex. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a fire hose. <laughs> oh, God damn. Uh. Like one <laughs> pump, and I am just. There's a reason the man wears ties and like sharp suits is because all those layers button him up. Also, keep it locked in. That's how he like stays so trim because yeah. it's all water weight that just gets lost. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail, you <laughs> silver fox. Um, okay, lobsters. Jesus. Um, Mikhail wants to fuck me. I think you know, the, the, the lobsters will... It's really, really sexual. Ooh. They'll kind of like dance around each other. It's sort, sort of boring because they're really clumsy looking and stuff. Mikhail, just like, this just in. Mikhail is starting to get bored at looking at yeah. videos of animals fucking. Honestly, the dog fucking one really ruined me, because it was so <laughs> intense. But to butt. Ugh. Anyways, so they'll they'll kind of, like, follow each other around. They won't really show aggression. Aggression is usually, like, claws up and open. Mm-hmm. This is all claws closed, right? Well, they've got uh, elastics on it, so it makes sense. Oh, yeah. They're actually born with those elastics. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, how, that's how God made them. You see how God designed the banana? He designed the lobster cloud. <laughs> Let's hey, take Wait a minute. Did it describe the lobsters as red when they picked no, no. them up and morphed into they them? Were no, blue. they were blue. They were like a dark okay. brownie blue. Yeah. Which is and pretty I think, accurate. I think they mentioned that in the book because when you have a lobster red, like that's what they look like when they've been cooked. Mm-hmm. Cooked, yeah. Anyways, uh, we're almost done. We got to get through the black ant still. So... The, after they do the courtship dance, they'll kind of lay there, but they lay there like belly to belly. So I saw one where like one lobster was upside down. I saw most of them where they were like side by side, but they're just touching almost like their mouth parts would be touching Missionary. and their butt parts would be touching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's As pretty God boring. They just like they just like twitch for a bit and then that's it. It's done. Well, they don't do it for pleasure. They're not dolphins, Mikhail. <laughs> That's true. Uh, after the pleasure f- is for the weak. <laughs> the, <laughs> the female gets like sprayed or essentially or inseminated, anyways. And uh, if you really want to be grossed out by lobsters, look up how the female will carry around like hundreds of eggs under her tail on the little like flipper parts, and they kind of like move in the water currents it's really fucking gross she'll carry them with her oh yeah before they hatch oh yeah why and she'll stake out a little like oh because um, they live on the bottom of the ocean there's no place to hide yeah and and they're, they're very protective like they'll make uh the, the female anyways will make like a like kind of a hole but not really it's more like she just digs sand out of one specific area and then they'll like she'll like stand there with claws out 
and any other lobster that tries to come in and not do the work of their own to make their own hole, like, they'll just fight each other to the death. Wow. That's awful. Yeah. Lobsters the animal are kingdom is fucking people. disgusting. <laughs> I can just fucking imagine, like, imagine an Animorph series that ends at book one, just like, your planet will be destroyed if you don't protect it. Good. <laughs> Bye. So millennials, Have you seen lobsters? <laughs> I want to be a fucking gorilla. A human. Okay. Let's move on to the common black ant. To or the common black ant. Black garden ant. There's a lot of ants, so I wrote down the Latin name, which is Lassius Niger. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but... <laughs> I looked up like, oh, like, could we narrow it down based on species as far as where the kids live? No. There's ants no. everywhere. It's useless. Like, there's ants literally on every continent everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So forget that. The ants uh, rule the world. Ants are terrifying, though. Uh, yeah, I one, hate ants largely because of this book series. One queen alone can actually just live for 15 years. Like, fuck, a, like fuck, or more. Fuck that. Fuck yeah. that. Fuck so that, it's the Mikhail. Same fuck you. Ant producing oh from the same load of jizz. Ugh. That's older than these children right now. Yeah, like millions of ants. It's pretty disgusting. Ants eat sugar pretty I wouldn't say exclusively, but that is what they get out of the food that they're eating. Mm. I mean, uh, to be fair, that's what we get too, mostly. Yeah, but no, yeah, but no, that's they what they're hunt. That's they the get, only that's nutrient they, they really need. They need is the sugar. They don't need fats. Yeah, if they were given a bowl of sugar water, they could eat that alone um but the cool part about that is the way that they get it so sometimes like you guys know what aphids are right oh yeah yep yeah. yeah, that's what uh that's what ladybugs keep around them to kill ants totally uh, no actually that's completely wrong <laughs> that's what no, ladybugs no, no. eat that's aphids what, yeah that's what ants keep around to milk yes that's right ants there will actually i remember a bug's life now because ants eat sugar, pretty much, ex- well, not exclusively, but, like, that's their prime source of food, mm-hmm. they will actually gather it from aphids and scale. Scale is just another type of, like, bug on plants. Yeah. Uh, and they'll keep them alive, because they, they could kill the aphids easily, but they'll keep them alive and milk, they call it honeydew, which is, like, a uh, kind of, like, a, a waste product it? that the aphids produce. They jerk it and off. Yeah, they'll just farm aphids and keep them alive. They eat aphid poop. Like, where does it milk out from? The butt. The one orifice that bugs have. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How do, how do they squeeze it? I don't know. I think it just comes out on its own and then they grab it because the surface tension it's, from the liquid. The uh, I could go into a lot of things about, you know, how ants explore and like blah, 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 blah. I, I think the only thing I really want to touch on, though, is... The pheromones that ants use. So pheromones, I mean, you guys all know, like, ants use chemicals, like mm-hmm. acid or whatever you want to call it, formic acid, to find their way back to the nest, right? Yeah. Yeah. What What I didn't actually know was that, like, the more ants that follow one path, the stronger that scent gets. Yeah, because of then, their feet. Right. And also they're laying it down as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but when the food runs out... Ants will show up and it'll stop producing that chemical. Oh. And so eventually, after like a day, the trail just dries up and they stop going there. So that's how they don't like keep accidentally going back to the same spot. Right. But the crazier thing about the pheromones is that uh, there's a few crazy things actually. When an ant is killed, it releases, they call it alarm pheromones yeah. that makes other ants in the same area like go berserk and want to like kill Whoa. enemies and stuff. And then to add even more craziness to that, some ants will purposefully release uh, the word that they use was propaganda pheromones, but it was basically like fake alarm pheromones. Oh. And oh, they'll damn. make, they'll make other ants ants from other colonies go crazy and kill each other. Are you Holy, saying that they're, what? they're dramatic yeah. with their antics? Oh, you were holding on to that one, weren't you? <laughs> no, I just thought it up. I'm just real proud of myself. <laughs> so, like, this death pheromone makes them go into such a fervor, they kill their own as well? 
I think so. I mean, I saw that in a couple I different places. It. What's Answer even fucked. the point then? What? Answer fucked. So, like, one Trump ant can kill the whole thing when they're just going to freak out and be like, suicide. I don't know if that metaphor fake works. Fake pheromones. <laughs> Bad. Fake. These are terrible fake pheromones. They're just trying to cause a fervor. I did not piss on any hookers. Or have them piss on me. Okay, is that Trump or is that Kennedy? Kennedy. It's both. <laughs> I think that was kind of the last amazing thing about ants. I did talk a lot about mating already. I actually got it wrong. I'm seeing it here in my notes that I said it ha- the flight happened in spring. It actually happens in autumn. Not that that makes much of a difference. but Because the new you know. ants well, get hatched in spring. It's an Maybe because they're also season. awesome make new hives, right? Yeah. Because yeah. they lie dormant for the winter time. Typically. Yeah. And then, like, the new boys hatch, new ladies hatch in the spring. Do you think that there's, case, there's like, of- ants that wait, or, or, like, bears or, like, any animals like that that wake up during the winter just to, like, hang out? I don't know. What? <laughs> there's, like, a I secret mean- club of ants who wake up during the winter so that Bachelor they can just, ants. like, yeah. They can just, yeah. like, chill out and do a bunch of shit. They're Actually. like weirdos. <laughs> they, like, do a bunch of shit that they couldn't do while the other ants were awake. Yeah, like, uh, watch TV in their underwear. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Of course. Walk around a, like, ant mall naked. Well, that was further than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> now I totally forget my train of thought because you talked about bachelor ants. Oh my god! It could be lady ants as well. Oh, here I remember my point now. The whole the, what it pisses me off. What pisses me off about children's literature that covers ants and bugs is like they're all fucking girls. Don't t- show me some children's book about a kid who wants to squish an ant and the ant goes, "No, but I have a mustache because I'm a dude and my wife and my kids." It's like, no, that's fake. That's not ants. What 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 do you want? Some fucking. I just ant- want a book that says it's okay to squish an ant, child. Ants are terrifying and should not be in front of you. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not what you said. Us. You said you were like, uh, they're all... You started off with like, they're all female. Why are they showing them as male? Yep. They should show them as allowed to be squished and terrifying. Bam, boozled again because I fucking hate ants. We come back to Tessa's self-loathing complex. Down with yep. ants. The patriarchy is also awful, but down with ants first. One single ant isn't a patriarchy. No, the patriarchy is like awful, but it's doing its own thing. We have to eradicate. I'd ants like. First. I'd like to mention that at this point, Tessa is like making all these like really weird, like vagary hand motions, like just essentially They're admitting like the things I'm like. saying make no sense at all. They're, They're weasels sharp and dagger like. So before we end, because we're about to end, uh, let <laughs> me ask, because I think this is a more appropriate yes. question for how horrifying these morphs are, which animal would you rather be stuck as for the rest of your life? <gasps> lobster. Holy shit. It's a if hard one, choose, though. If I had to choose fucking lobster, lobsters live forever um, and you get to eat meat. Fuck. Can I, can I commit <laughs> suicide? Can you pick what? Suicide? <laughs> Uh, I mean, Red I don't know, out. actually. I don't think so, unless you went and fought a bigger lobster than yourself, because that would be Or, so like, awesome. basically... No, no, I mean, like, can I just kill myself before I ever have to choose? <laughs> well, no, because the idea is, like, you were on now a mission. the possibility of that choice is out there in the world. Brain wants to, like, stop his existence before doing any other animal uh, like, thing. Like, I want to actually kill myself right now, just even thinking about it. He's like, it. maybe oh in like God. two months, he would have to be stuck as an ant, or in one month, be stuck as a lobster. But right now, uh, Brady wants to die. I don't know. I guess, I guess lobster, it was slightly lobster less frightening. Lobster is ob- the obvious choice. Yeah. Lobster. And, and if you get caught, all you have to do is do tricks, and then the fisherman will keep you and be like, look at, look at his lobster. It does fucking tricks. I'm going to be rich. And then you never die. But with the ant, you can easily just run under the boot of somebody and kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you still have to live as an ant, and it would take forever to get to that boot because the legs are so what's small. what's to say I won't get lost in my own head? Do yeah. I have That's friends to help bring me out? Fucking that. You could do what Tobias did in book three and just yeah. live as an ant for a couple of weeks. And then by that point, you're old age. You know what, though? At least as an ant, and let's let's get real here, millennials. At least as an ant, you're guaranteed a job. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'd love a job. Okay, um, Mikhail, my job is podcaster right now. I'm claiming it. It's mine. Most millennial job ever. That's very millennial. No, no, Catch no. no. The millennial Instagram. job right now is chef. Ah, that's yeah. true. Like <laughs> restaurateur. Like startup, low concept, like some some African country that like nobody's ever heard of before tier type of food. Like, oh yes, we're really into North African But have it be fusion tapas. with Vietnamese yeah. so that you can make pho and yeah. like also whatever it's dish I know, I mispronounced yeah. it it's so that people woo. know I'm taking it I'm talking about <laughs> Anyways I All think right. that's a that's a good note okay. to end on. This was awful. This was an awful live from the gardens. Let's go back to dog sex. Yeah, I never dogs thought are I would pretty say pleasant. that. Yeah. But oh my god. I, I don't mean, think god we can go back, nice guys. Like dog sex. <laughs> I don't think there's any going back, guys. Like there's that initial like like dog sex is like the pure meth that the dealer gives you to get you into it. Like from here on out it's just fucking baby powder cut with dime bag weed next week we'll be discussing fentanyl and uh trying to kill ourselves because we don't want to be <laughs> ants and lobsters i feel like i have to decide when the episode is over because i could see you guys just <laughs> vamping for like well i'll come back tomorrow you won't even notice i'm gone <laughs> <laughs> catch us next time on braden and mine's no. podcast <laughs> Mikhail, I- Mikhail the square <laughs> Mikhail, i couldn't go Two hours without mentioning you in a sensory deprivation. Day. Oh God! Yeah, Don't bring that up. Your reaction. Oh, okay, man. I'm doing the outro. Fully, fully okay. nude. This has been live from the gardens, a phanomorph podcast about how to be a convincing anamorph. My name is Mikhail, the host. I'm Tessa, and I'm dead inside. And I'm Brayden. The hip new cool kid who rides a longboard. What up? Join us next week when we talk about Animorphs number six, The Capture. This has been Live from the Gardens, a Phanomorphs podcast. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. I love you. If you'd like to correct or clarify any of the poorly researched animal facts in this episode of Live from the Gardens, feel free to contact us on SoundCloud, Facebook, or Twitter by searching for Phantomorphs, the Dork Bajir Chronicles. And remember, stay safe, stay hidden. Brought to you by Collective Legacy, a podcast network.